Hello friends, this is third part of student attendance system using PHP with Ajax, and we have continued to discuss, admin login part, in previous part we have covered admin login page front end, but now we are discussing on validate admin login details. For this we have moved to write PHP code in check admin login.php, and here first we have write include statement, with database connection.php, it will make database connection on this page. Below this, we have write session start function, it will start session variable on this page. On this page first here we have create five variable like dollar admin username dollar admin password dollar error admin username dollar error admin password with blank value and dollar error variable is equal to zero now we have write if statement and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post admin username variable. This condition will check if this variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar error admin username variable is equal to username is required and dollar error variable value increment by one. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar admin username variable is equal to dollar post admin username variable. After this, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write empty function with dollar post admin password variable. This condition will check if this variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar error admin password variable is equal to password is required and dollar error variable value increment by one. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar admin password variable is equal to dollar post admin password variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar error variable is equal to zero, if this condition true, that means there is no any validation error has occur. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from admin table, where admin username is equal to dollar admin username variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. If query successfully run, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method it will return number of row affected after query execution now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar total row variable value is greater than zero if this condition true that means user has enter write user name then it will execute if block of code under this block, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. 
it will return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar $result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write, dollar $result variable as dollar $row variable. Under this loop, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, password verify method, with two argument, in first argument we have write dollar admin password variable, and in second argument we have write dollar row admin password variable. In this condition, this password verify method, is verify store hash password with enter user password, if password match that means user has enter write password, this method mainly used for verify hash password. Under this block, we have write dollar session admin id variable is equal to dollar row admin id variable. Here we have create session variable, in which we store admin id, which will be used to validate live admin login. But suppose user has enter wrong password, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write dollar error admin password variable is equal to wrong password, and dollar error variable increment by one. But suppose user has enter wrong user name then, in this if condition, it will execute else block of code, and under this we have write dollar error admin username variable is equal to wrong username and dollar error variable value increment by one. Here we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar error variable value greater than zero. This condition will check if this variable value is greater than zero. That means any validation error has occur. Then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, with first key error, value set to true. Second key error admin username, value has been set to dollar error admin username variable, and in third key we have write error admin password, with value get from dollar error admin password variable. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to, array with key success and value set true. Now we want to send data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have write echo statement with JSON and code function, and under this we have write dollar $output variable, it will send data to Ajax request in JSON format. Now here we have go to header.php file, which we will include in index page, in this file we have already included bootstrap for library, jQuery library, and data tables library link. Here we have used bootstrap for CSS library, and by using this library we have make NAV bar with five menu like grade, teacher, student, attendance, and logout. Grade menu has redirect page to grade.php, teacher menu has redirect page to teacher.php, student menu has redirect page to student.php, attendance menu has redirect page to attendance.php and lastly logout menu has redirect page to logout.php page. Here header of this page. We have first write include statement with database connection.php, 
it will make database connection. Below this we have write, session start function, it will start session variable on this page. After this we have write if statement, and under condition we have write not operator with is set function with dollar session admin id variable, this condition will check if admin is not login into system and try to access this page, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write header function, and under this function we have write location set to login.php, so if user not login into system and try to access this page then, it will redirect to login page. Now we have go to index page, and here we have write include statement with header.php file, so it will take all the property of header.php file into this index file. After this we have go to logout.php file, and here we have write session start function, this function will start session variable on this page. Below this we have write session destroy function, it will destroy all session variable. Lastly for redirect page, here we have write header function with location set to login.php, it will redirect page to login.php file, now we have check output in browser. Friends. Here in browser we have enter base url slash admin and press enter, then page has been redirect to login page, so here we can see login page on web page. Now first we want to validation has been working or not, so we have directly click on login button, after click on login button, so on web page we can see validation message. Now we have enter wrong username and wrong password and click on login button. So on web page we can see wrong username validation message on web page. So we have enter right username and wrong password and press login button. Then it has display wrong password message on web page. So here validation working properly. Now we have enter right username and right password and press enter then page has been redirect to index page, and here on web page we can see NAV bar with different menu like grade, teacher, student, attendance, and logout link. We will make page for this whole menu and make complete student registration system, now we want to log out from system. So we have simply click on logout link. After click on logout link, page has been redirect to login page. So here we have make admin login page. Now in next part we will start discussing grade module. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.